hope you're having a very great day and welcome back to another Citrix lab setup series and this is part 4 and what we are going to do we are going to download and install SQL Express on CTX core and grant record permissions for the site database creation so let's get started so that is one thing that we have to do uh, which is we have to get internet access from ctx core but in the previous video we have uh, assigned it a static ip address so we may not get uh, you know we cannot access internet from this uh, ctx core server so what i have done is just for the <coughs> time being i have assigned up uh, up to an ip address automatically and up to an dns server address automatically so only for the time being so once we have installed uh, sql express uh, then we can assign the same static ip address back so not only this so once you have uh, assigned the uh, automatically up time ip address then you have to uh, go to hyper v and go to properties of ctx core So uh, instead of uh, Drand Lab, uh, you must select default switch so that your server uh, will be able to access internet. Okay, let me minimize this and CTX core and go to IE. And usually the Internet Explorer enhanced security will be turned on and that will cause as issues because whenever you're trying to access any uh, websites when the IE enhanced security configuration is turned on you will be prompted with uh, many uh, pop-ups so what you have to do is uh, go to server manager and then go to local server and make sure uh, this IE enhanced security configuration is turned off so that you will have no issues to access internet from this ctx core server so let's go to google.com and oh thanks and search for sql express download so go to sql server downloads Here we go. So we are going to download a SQL Server 2019 Express. It's a free edition, and just like they have mentioned, it's ideal for development and production for desktop, web, and small server application. So anyway, this is just a development purpose. So download and save. Open the folder. So basic and accept and install Okay, here we go. The installation has completed successfully. And the next thing will be installing SSMS. That's the management console that we need. Okay, download SQL Server Management Studio. And run. Yes. Oh, 
okay click on install okay SSMS installation has been successful and we need to restart the server now let's restart Okay, server has been rebooted. Just log in. Okay, let's check. So this is dot msc okay if we go to okay sql server sql server is an sql server process so all the sql related services are installed now so we should be good and close okay uh, before we uh, further going we have to keep the server name sorry the IP address back to the same that we had before let's give the same static IP address back properties pv4 use 192, 168, 10 dot 12, 192, 168, 10 dot 11. So click OK and OK. Close, close. Just to be sure, I'm gonna sign out and sign in back with my alpha domain admin credential. Oh, I forgot to change the virtual switch. Let's do it as well. It shouldn't be a default switch, it has to be on RAN Lab. Apply. Okay. Citix score. And now I can. Okay. Start. Here we go. Okay, it is launched now. And let's go with the same connect. okay so now when we are coming to the installation part it is completely done and we are able to launch the sql server management studio and when it comes to permissions let's take a quick look at the official uh, citrix product documentation so these are all the different operations and the purpose why we are doing it and the server role and the database role so these are all the roles uh, that our alpha credential must have so let's get them done db creator db owner security admin okay so if we go to security and logins and you should see it ran alpha so right click and go to properties So server roles so when it comes to server roles we should have DB creator security admin roles
guys uh, just one more information so when it comes to uh, production environment usually there will be a citrix uh, you know service account which will be created uh, especially for uh, sql permissions so uh, we will not be having the sysadmin role but all the required access uh, which we just gone through in the Citrix product documentation so those roles we will be requesting the database team to provide us you know uh, I mean for that uh, Citrix uh, service account but uh, when it comes to our lab environment uh, we install this uh, SQL setup uh, with alpha credential which has uh, domain admin role so it it by default came up with the sysadmin role so when it comes to sysadmin uh, in sql so it provides exactly full control over all aspects of sql server instance it is part of so let's pretend that sysadmin is not there and i'm giving db creator and security admin role Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, now we should be good as we have given the proper and record uh, server roles. Okay, and in the next video, uh, we are going to install all the CTX core components on CTX core server. And stay tuned and if you have liked this video uh, click on like and please do subscribe and click on the bell icon so whenever I publish a new video you will get a notification so you will not miss anything from us and thank you so much for watching stay tuned God bless you bye bye